Yeah, I guess um, when Super Steady is on, uh, I can't adjust the lighting. So it's either steady and dark, or uh, you can see shit, but it's all over the place. I'm going to stick with the steady and dark. I'm leaving the house tonight. I'm like, I tell me, I'm like, wish me luck. Wish me luck, yeah. Wish me luck that I go out and, uh, and can find some demonic entities. I was just watching this video um, from Elusive Truths. And, uh, man, they got a lot of good stuff on that channel. I've actually learned stuff from them, which, I mean, not that I know everything. But usually a lot of times, you know, I've heard a little bit about something. And the uh, esoteric knowledge uh, are called... Uh, metaphysical sciences uh, type videos or creators I usually kind of know what they're talking about a little bit but this I'd never heard about um, and it would make my job a fuck of a lot easier uh, it was a technology that was actually uh, they, well I don't know if it was first invented but this guy got the idea to, to work with it in the 1920s and what he would do is it was this component I forget what it was called uh, they say it in the video I'm going to leave a link to the video too I said, like, di, diacin or... Diacin? <sighs> no, I think that was Phantom Menace. Uh, it's something. There you go. Uh, and what this would do when you put it between uh, panes of glass with water, it allowed you to see other frequencies. Well, I guess uh, the U.S. government, uh, as they tend to do, uh, had been messing with this, this technology as a... Uh, as a way to, I guess, replace the uh, regular night vision goggles, which were the uh, the green. They were having some kind of thing. They wanted to improve upon those or something. So they were using this guy's uh, formula in a more industrial kind of way. And what they were doing is what it would do is instead of looking out of the goggles and seeing green, uh, everything green, it was showing things on the red band, on the red spectrum. So everything looked red. So they start sending these soldiers out with them on these helicopter uh, patrols. And the guy telling the story, uh, it was his father, who was in the military, who was, you know, he had a group of guys he was running, uh, you know, his unit or whatever. And they're out doing, they're up in helicopter duty, and they're just, he said, there's nothing, there's nothing around. They're just flying above, like, some trees. And one of the guys starts freaking out and just firing out into the air where there's nothing there. And it was causing a problem with the other guys in the other helicopters. Like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? So they got over to the guy, and he was just, like, in a state that uh, they thought he might have been on drugs or on heroin or having a breakdown. Turns out, when you put these goggles on, you could see into the frequency band uh, where the demonic entities are, where the demons are. As I, you know, I talk about here, you can't see them. Although they're around, and always around, they're everywhere around here right now. They can't uh, touch us, we can't touch them. The only way we can interact with them is when they go into a body, which is what we, you know, we do here. So, um, the, the guy's father put them on, and he said above the tree line, it was like looking into a, a gothic horror show. He said there were these demonic looking beings like monsters legit monsters with talons and wings and they were flying around there uh, right beside the helicopter and around the helicopter and all through the sky uh, and that that's what they were firing at with these things they were seeing them with, with the red band the red band uh, frequency so uh, they stopped using them <laughs> everything, they said everything was fine when they went back to the green uh, regular green night goggles and then the element that was used to create these goggles that the guy had used in the 20s when he first put it between glass to see into another measure was banned. Uh, I know in the United States it's banned, but I don't know about the rest of the world. I'm assuming it is because you can just order it from somewhere else. So they banned this one component. It's not a drug. It can't hurt anybody. And so that's why it's, it's banning was mysterious to most people when it got on the ban list or banned substances or illegal substances or whatever the fuck they did. But, uh, and that was the end of it. So what it told me is, like, there is a way to see them uh, from this uh, dimensional space or this frequency. 
And um, the, the, the only time you really can see them is if you catch them on film. And even when you catch them on film, they tend to just look like blobs. They tend to just look like uh, white blob people. Um, as that uh, subway video I, I, I post a lot, and I'll, I'll put another link to it, because that's worth seeing. Because that's, uh, that's what they're doing. They're around you all the time, right? Roger from KC, again, the legendary guy, has a lot of footage where he outlines them and can show you what they look like. And uh, in their natural state, they do look like fucking monsters. They, they look like monsters, you know? But, um, man, if I had goggles like that, my job would be a lot easier. You know? I walk around circles for a long time, and the only way I know something's up is if I hear, uh, if I hear the voice. You know, I hear the talking. And that usually brings them, uh, me to them. And then, you know, we take it from there. But, uh, shit, if I had a pair of those... Well, I guess, you know what? If I did have a pair of those, it would be distracting because I could see all of them. And they're able to see me. Because they can always see you from where they are. Um, they're all around you. Uh, all the time. You know. No stress, but... You're surrounded by monsters all the time. <laughs> all the time. Uh, in a lot of these, the, this end time stuff, the idea of bringing, uh, of making uh, the environment so that these things can, uh, I guess, better live here once they come here, uh, is, has been what's going on, like a lot of stuff with the CERN thing. It's like terraforming. The bodies we're in have, uh, with the Mandela changes, which I've talked about, have uh, got a bunch of improvements. A bigger liver, a more, uh, more, um, I don't know how to say it, but our organs have improved in efficiency, almost like they're getting us ready for some kind of toxic environment. Uh, if you look at all the changes and put them together, or not even put them together, you can see that they're all like, they're all, uh, they're all improvements to Mandela uh, uh, changes. And I've been thinking more recently about how they, uh, it would make more sense to me that they just put us in these new bodies rather than have our bodies transformed, right? All the skeletal changes, all the muscular changes, the skull, uh, the, the, where the um, organs are. How, I mean, flipping them all while we're here or alive, I mean, maybe they did it slowly during sleep because you're out of your body when that happens. I don't fucking know, but uh, that theory of this being a, a copy of a place where we were, um, that's, that's something that starts to make a little bit more sense to me. I mean, it's all, it's all out there. It's all hard to wrap your head around. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty crazy shit. So what they're doing is they're trying to make it so that it's more palatable for when these things finally come over. Now I got a whole other part to this, which I haven't figured out how I can talk about because the last time I talked about it, I got a weak ban for medical misinformation. So I don't know how uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. So I still have to figure that out because I want to do it. Uh, I, I think I might just in the video put a lot of uh, I've, I'll use a lot of images and a lot of text to get it done. Because I think what they do is when these algorithms drag for forbidden terms, they're listening to your your voice and they're translating that into uh, words. And then they make sure you're not saying anything naughty and, and that's how they do it, I believe. I, I think a good way around it to explain what I wanted to talk about is to put the, uh, to just use images and text. And I think I can do it, but I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do it because I want to be able to, uh, because I want to know what I'm doing first before I do the video because the way I work, I, I come out here and I just blab about shit, you know, and um, then I put the stuff on on top of it later. But if I know what I'm putting on top of it later, who cares? Just none of your concern. <laughs> why, do I explain, why do I explain these things? Anyway, uh, the day after the 4th, which would make this the 5th. Still a lot of people here. I stayed in most of the, the holiday weekend because, uh, you, know, you go, lady, Jesus. 
people really insistent on uh, being able to go where they want to go. Holy fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, what it is, it's like they're robots. They're not, they don't have a lot going on between their ears, and they just think that, they don't see you a lot of them, because they're, you know, it's sort of a they live situation. But we've talked about that, I've explained that, why people, uh, why people just kind of uh, will walk into you, walk around you, uh, you know. All right, still a lot of people out here, so I gotta navigate these fucking assholes, so we're gonna let you go. Because it's harder to do when I'm trying to do this and um, walk among the robots. I'll be back, I'll be back. I'm always back. Like fucking, like an STD. Like a, like a good STD. You know, the good kinds, the ones you like. Don't blame the teacher, blame the school. <laughs>